Start standing up. Reach your arms out in front of you with your palms facing each other. Lift your shoulders up by your ears and then reach those fingers further out in front of you so as to sort of hollow out your chest. Now let your shoulders fall away from your ears and slide those shoulder blades together behind you. We're gonna draw that sort of circular motion again, a little bit more smooth. So shoulders up, forward, down, and back. Up, forward, down, and back. Try that one more time. And can you go in the other direction? Forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. Try that again. All right, can you bring your arms out to the side, bend your elbows and have your palms facing up. Let your elbows come forward just a little bit and then start drawing a circle on the floor with your elbows. See if you can get this movement to come from your shoulder blades here. I'll turn around so you can see the back of my body and how those shoulder blades are sort of moving around on the back of my rib cage to help move my elbows. And can you do this in the other direction? Yeah. All right. Go ahead, lower your arms down. You can shake them, you can swing them, you can even do a bounce. Last one. 
When you're finished, walk your way over to a wall. When you get to the wall, place your left hand at the wall and step away from the wall so that your hand floats off. Now lean into the wall so your hand can touch it again. You're gonna have your feet relatively close together. As you inhale, sweep your right arm out and up and over as if you're trying to touch the wall with that right hand. She probably won't touch it, that's okay. As you exhale, sweep your arm back down to your side. We'll do that again. You can continue with this movement. Or if you're feeling a little more energetic today, you want to do a little bit more, you can lift your leg and your arm. Feel that weight shift into your standing leg. Lower them back down. Lift both your arm and your leg. Lower them back down. And again, you can keep on doing that. Or maybe the next time that you lift your arm and leg, you stay. And you could stay. Or bring your elbow and your knee together. Inhale to reach. Exhale, bring your elbow and knee together. Inhale to reach. Exhale, bring your elbow and your knee together. Go ahead and lower your arm and your leg down. Turn towards the wall. Stack your hands and let your forehead rest on your hands here. Take a little break. When you're ready, press yourself away from the wall and turn so that your right hand is at the wall. Step away from the wall slightly so that your hand floats away from it. And then lean back into the wall so your hand makes contact again. Feet close together here. Sweep your left arm, no, yes, your left arm out and up and over. Almost as if you might touch the uh, wall there. Exhale as you sweep your arm back down. Do that a couple more times. Inhale to reach and open up your side. Exhale to release. And you can continue to do this movement. Or you can lift your arm and your leg, creating a big star shape. And you can continue with this movement, or the next time that you lift your arm and leg, you could stay in this position, or you can start to bring your elbow and knee together. Inhale to reach, exhale, elbow and knee together. Inhale to reach, exhale, elbow and knee together. Go ahead and bring your leg and your arm back down. Turn to face the wall, stack your hands, have a couple of breaths. When you've caught your breath, press yourself away from the wall. Come back to your mat. We're going to work our way back down towards the floor. I'm going to set up my blanket here so that I have a soft pad for my knees to land to as I come down. Step in front of your blanket. I like to stand with my heels kind of on top of my blanket and the balls of my feet on the floor. You can have your feet as close together or as wide as you like. As you start to slide your hands down your legs, shift your bum back, bend your knees as much as you need to so that you can get your hands down onto the ground. Step one foot back. Step the other foot back and bring those knees onto the floor. Now you can walk your hands forward here and come into a plank. Exhale as you shift your hips back towards your heels and move more towards like a downward facing puppy type shape. Inhale forward into plank. Exhale back into downward facing puppy. 
Right, you can continue with this movement. This is a really great movement for building some torso strength, that connection between your shoulders and your hip. Or you can walk your hands a little bit closer to you, tuck your toes underneath your feet, and exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale into hands and knees. Exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale to hands and knees. And whichever one you're doing, do about two or three more. When you're finished, come down to lie on your tummy on your mat. I like to open up my blanket for this so that I have a flatter surface to lie on. Stack your hands and let your forehead rest on your hands here so that there's space for your nose and breathe. And it might feel a little uncomfortable to breathe in this position with the floor pressing against your tummy and chest. Can you find space for that breath in the back of your body, in the back of your rib cage, space in the base of your pelvis? Reach an arm forward in front of you. Bend the opposite knee. Let that foot fall in across the other leg and then start reaching across that leg out to the side so as to roll over onto your back. Come to fall wherever you like. And then, if you like, you can wriggle and ride yourself back onto your mat. You can rest with your knees bent, feet on the floor, or you can have your legs stretched out on the ground. With the back of your head resting on the floor or a pillow or blanket, nod your head yes. And then roll your head across that surface from right to left shoulder, as if shaking your head no. And then let your head come back to center, back to neutral, and rest. You can pause the video now and set a timer for as much time as you have, as much time as you need, as much time as you'd like to rest. 